Hi guys, this time on Deep Junk, we're going to dig into a 66 Nova. Uh, this one is a mainline uh, metal body plastic base. You guys may have already seen one or even built one. Um, this car has a small cowl induction hood on it. Uh, black with the red interior. And I've got another one. It was just a, a matter of just picking one. They're both pretty close to the same car, just different colors. That one is the red with black interior, white flames on it. Uh, different wheel, but it's the same same car. Metal body, plastic base, same hood, everything. So we just picked the black one to do for this. Don't really have an, uh, an exact color that I want to go with. Um, I may just have to look around uh, and get some inspiration, but I know I want the stance to be fairly close to what it is. We'll put some uh, a better wheel and tire on it and go off on the details. Um, like I said it's a chrome base at plastic um, that uh, yeah I love so much. Uh, it did seem to have a little bit of goofiness going on back on the deck lid. See any of that paint uh, unusual around the windows. But it's our, our wheels main line. It's what we've come to a I guess expect maybe or <laughs> uh, it's not that I'm, I'm accepting it I, I, I'm accepting it under protest but it's a dollar car so what the hell so we'll dig into this and see what we can do um, stay tuned alrighty the 66 all tore apart We've got our plastic base there the chrome that pretty good detail in the grill down below the Openings in the bumper and the marker lights, or turn signals, I should say. Rear bumper. It has, uh, we got a little engine and transmission detail. And the exhaust goes back in and comes back out the same, uh, the front side of the muffler is like an AAR Cuda. We've got exhaust coming out in front of the rear wheels. Elastic base, to you, as usual. Our interior. Uh, yeah, some kind of custom bucket seat. It's almost like a race seat without the harness. Uh, factory center console. The rear seat looks like a Nova pattern on it. Uh, no, no dash detail at all. Uh, clear glass. I like that. Thank you. And our body. And like I said, we'll get this one in the stripper and we'll see what what else is cooking on. We know around the windows there's a little ugly on the deck lid, but off to the stripper. Alrighty guys, got the 66 Nova out of the stripper. Um, it's about kind of like we thought. Some junk around the windows, around the windshield there, the back window. A little bit at the rockers, leading edge of the hood. Um, that deck lid I thought was going to be some problems by the way the paint was, but it doesn't look too bad. We've got uh, some casting lines coming over the quarter panels from the roof line. No big deal there. Everything's prominent on it. The, the factory molded in lines in the, in the fenders and doors and that. Uh, show up nice on it. Nice little uh, cowl induction hood scoop. So we'll hit it with a uh, file and a little bit of uh, sandpaper and green scuff pad and see what she looks like. I'm sure it'll clean up pretty nice. Alrighty. Alrighty, body's coming along pretty good. Uh, take a little bit more Get it finished up. We'll get it all smoothed out, ready for primer and paint. Um, chassis. Might do scuff up a little bit more with the green pad. Mask the bumpers front and rear, and then black it out. Be able to put um, some details in there. Interior. Uh, we'll paint it red. I'm going to keep a red interior. I'm thinking red on red um, for the Nova with. Uh, with that wheel and it'll look pretty good just something real uh, 
real clean, not a you know major drag car or anything like that. Just a real clean, uh, cool Nova. All right, guys, a little change of plan here on the Nova. Um, the body's getting uh, the clear on it. Um, thinking about the red, I was I was originally thinking a red for the body, like this car has um, a bright red, maybe a victory red, like he's on a GM uh, Chevy truck or torch red like was used in the 90s on the c4 corvette or what else used it lumina lumina euro uh, that real bright red uh, i ended up using a darker red more like a fire thorn and with red interior it just wasn't going to look right i want uh, a dark interior i was just going to go with black and then uh, the uh, console on top of the nova consoles then were chrome or, you know, bright had bright work on them. Uh, also, what I did was I, I took the interior from the red one, which was black. I also took the glass out of this car, uh, and I changed uh, pieces around. So this has uh, our car's red interior and clear glass. Um, the car we're doing is going to have the black interior and some tinted glass. So we want a good custom look on really cool streetable custom you know uh, no problem this one eh, if you can see up in there there's a lot of flash ahead of those seats got to be cut out so we're going to clean it up then we'll do detail uh, on the dash and the, the console there and then uh, some black on the seats uh, to give it uh, a little bit more detail in it uh, chassis done it's blacked out uh, so we will uh work on the exhaust bottom of the engine maybe a little uh, uh, suspension and, and drivetrain under there so far so good I like I like the car it's turning out pretty good uh, so when I get this we'll get the flash out of here and we'll come back with the interior and I'll show you what we get for it or what we get out of it alrighty back at it here we've got the uh, exhaust work transmission little uh, engine oil pan painted up on it on the old Nova I'm gonna throw some black in the, the behind the grill if it'll focus will it yeah there it is uh, throw a little uh, black in there and then the two air inlets in the grill uh, the paint that I use is all I know the guys are using, um, well shoot, I can't even think what you guys are using, some of you. This is all stuff that I got from working on model cars for years. Um, testers, regular enamels in the bottle, but then like the uh, model master enamels for the specialty colors. Um, you know, Oldsmobile engine, blue Chevrolet engine, orange, uh, semi-gloss black, some, some what they call a classic black. There's different, all different kind of shades. And, uh, so I just pretty much took what I knew uh, from doing uh, 25th scale models and applied it to. 64 scale and trying to wipe that off of there and trying to wash it uh, isn't working too good I'll have to thin some black out and use it just as that as a wash These crates in the grill aren't uh, deep enough I try to wipe over them I don't necessarily want to black the grill out. I'd like to have a chrome grill in it. So, alrighty guys, in the interest of saving time, I went ahead and did the grill and stuff off camera. The, the wash we did, and the headlights painted in. I went ahead and did the wheel, put the wheels in. 
our uh, our mags and the chassis is ready to go the body is just about done uh, the interior is complete like I showed you before and the glass is brand new nothing new there nothing to uh, buff up or anything so we'll uh, assemble this thing and I'll meet you over on the other side of the basement here. Alrighty guys, remember we started with this black car and we've got uh, this one in Firethorn Red. The mag wheels, real riders on it, black interior, two-toned that black. Uh, Gave it uh, some good detail. A uh, little Nova decal on the quarter panel back there where the Chevy 2 logo would go. Uh, since it's a custom, I uh, used a Nova logo. It'd be a little larger than what would have been on the car. Uh, it's a custom. It's, it's you know, kind of blends. There's no big stripes. There's no goofy, uh, you know, flames on it now. there's It's just a clean... A clean car and I you know, so put the Nova emblem back there where the stock one would have went We've got of course our detail underneath as you saw earlier back in she's got her tail lamp traverse lamps outlined with chrome the chrome pen Same on the other side, our Nova logo. It's got the nice small uh, cow induction hood scoop on it. And the front end done. Wash the grill, the air inlets down below, the turn signal stuff like at the headlights. Um, this thing, I've really got a special place in my heart for 66 and 7 Novas. My dad had one when I was a kid. It was black with black interior. 327 four-speed car, and he uh, took it apart. He would build a motor eh, with usually to rev hard. So uh, 327, of course, the 283 crankshaft gives you, uh, you know, poor man's 302. And I remember that thing would just scream to the moon. M21 four-speed transmission behind it. Um, I, I I know it's it uh, showed a, my big block Chevelle a good time. <laughs> so this was uh, I said the Firethorn red with the uh, clear over top. Um, everything it turned out pretty good. I like the color. It's got some good just enough flash where it's not outlandish on a '64 scale car. And uh, this you know like usual as or as usual I. I build them like I would build one in my own driveway out here in my own garage to drive and I would definitely drive the wheels off of this one. So I want to thank you guys for coming and checking it out. Uh, thanks for all, uh, all the subscribers. Uh, uh, if you're just coming in, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, this is uh, the first build into 2020 and uh, get some, uh, some other good ones lined up another nova uh coming up next week is uh the jerry rigged uh, gasser style nova um starting now in 2020 the uh, cars that i build on the channel i'm going to what isn't given away uh to friends and family or built for a purpose a, a, a charity or something like that uh the cars will be sold on ebay uh, and the money is going to go back into the channel to buy other cars, wheels and tires, paint, whatever, whatever the channel needs. Uh, you can find them on eBay right now. It'll be my uh, wife's eBay site is uh, 17 Stacy, the number 17 Stacy, S T A C Y. And I'm going to do it there at first. If it takes off, I'm going to go ahead and we'll get a uh, an eBay account just for the diecast cars and uh, we're probably going to start a Facebook uh, page just for the the cars um, 
I got away from Facebook because of the drama uh, a year a year or two ago and uh, I mean come on Monday rolls around and everybody's I hate Mondays no shit everybody hates Monday it's Monday the weekend's over um, so I, I just uh, we'll probably start one just for the just for diecast cars the, the sole purpose of that I want to thank everyone for coming to check it out, and we will see you in the next one.